Hey guys, it's Andy with ELOA. I want to show you a quick tip that we use with a lot of clients and take them from page three and page two up to page one just by uh, kind of taking advantage of uh, something that Google uses that most people don't understand. Um, Google uses something called latent semantic indexing, which basically means they look at a topic of a page and the way that they determine what the topic of the page is, is by looking at all the words and synonyms that appear on the page. So using this method, they're able to tell if a page that's about cars is about the movie cars, the band cars, or the vehicle cars. So for example, if you're a divorce lawyer, what Google is going to want to expect to see on that page are words like child custody, court, child support, spousal support, spouse, um, house, home, different things like that. So you can basically kind of do a brainstorming exercise and figure out every single word that you can think of that's related to a topic or you can use these tools that we found that will actually show you what google thinks are the most important pages on a website or i'm sorry shows you are the mo what google thinks are the most important keywords uh, that should appear on a website so let me show you exactly how this works so let's say we're a divorce lawyer in denver what you're going to do is you're going to go to this website right here it's texttools.net um, and this is a website that I don't think a lot of people use for some reason, and it works really, really well. So you're going to get logged in. I think the service costs like $60 a month or something. Um, but you're going to log in. You're going to click semantic, semantic analysis on the left, and then you're going to click TFIDF. And that's going to bring up this page where we are right now. So uh, let's say you're a divorce lawyer in Denver. So you'll search uh, divorce lawyer Denver. And what this is going to do and click submit, what this is going to do is this is going to pull the top 16 results that are ranking for divorce lawyer, Denver or Denver divorce lawyer. What I just, whatever I just submitted, divorce lawyer, Denver. And it's going to analyze every word on their page and it's going to figure out which words they have in common and which words are the most important based on what Google's thinking and, and how, how it's ranked. And then what you can do is you can take the copy from your website, paste it in and compare to see where it ranks. And what it'll spit out is a list of keywords that you need to add to your website. So this usually takes a few minutes. I'm going to pause the video and then I'll come right back and I'll show you what the results are. Okay. So now we got our, uh, we got our results here. As you can see, we use this all the time for all of our clients. Um, so I went to jobs and I went to complete it. And now here's divorce lawyer, Denver, and I'm going to click analysis. Okay, so we've got our results right here. So this is uh, for the keyword Divorce Lawyer Denver. And what you can see is you can see from left to right all the different page, all the different keywords that are found on the top 16 ranking pages. So if you take a look at this right here. Um, all right, so these are the these are the results right here. These are the 16 pages that are or these are the top 16 results that are in Google now. This chart's kind of hard to see, but basically what this shows you is all the different keywords, you know, all the different times that all these keywords appear on these pages. So the word divorce shows up on every single one of these pages. The word family is on every page. The word Denver, the word uh, family law, the word legal, the word law, the word Colorado. So, uh, and actually Colorado is actually missing on peakfamilylaw.com. So What's really important and what's really cool about this is you can see from left to right the most important keywords that you should have on your page. Now, what's even cooler about this, let's see if we can do this. Now, if you take your own copy, so let's just do uh, Denver Divorce Lawyer. And let's just go to a website on page three. So Denver Family Law Attorney, let's just try this one out. Let's go to, let's go to the divorce page. Let's see if we can find it, divorce. Okay, so we'll just copy that whole page. And then what you can do is go to compare. And now you can paste your text right in here. So now what it's gonna do, these yellow areas here, show you all the words that you have on your page and all the words that are missing. So for example, right here, the word contact is missing and uh, you know, it seems to be important. Uh, here's another one. Clients is missing. 2018 is missing. Law firm, work, client, 303 process. Now, some of these are going to be not extremely important, but if you want to kind of start looking at what do all these pages that are ranking on the first page of Google have that my page doesn't have, this is a good place to start. So let's look at another client here. Let's 
So we'll get Shapiro Family Law Firm. Let's go to their divorce page here. So you can see right here, they've got some pages missing. They've got help or they've got some keywords missing. They've got word, the word help missing, which it seems like all the pages have. Um, best is missing, which it seems like most of the pages have. Uh, Denver divorce is missing. Practice is missing. Client is missing. Area is 303, which I think 303 is the Denver area code. Uh, process, team, time. You know, and you can kind of look at these and, you know, you might not necessarily want to add every single keyword, but we look at these sometimes and we realize that sometimes major keywords are missing. Um, and then there's other things when you look at, you know, like the word help doesn't seem like it would be that important, but look how high it is. And basically it shows if you look at the overview or even the details page, you can see the word help is on every single one of these pages. So while it might not be obvious that you need to have the word help on your, your divorce page, uh, it seems pretty important because all of these pages have the word help. They all have the word law on there. Um, they all have the word legal on there, you know, different things like that. So using this type of chart, and then what you can do is you can even just send this list of keywords if you want. Uh, oh, we lost it. Hang on a second. You know, you can take this list of keywords right here. Send this to a send this to a copywriter. Say, listen, we need to add all these. We need to write additional content, or we need to figure out a way to get most of these keywords or a lot of these keywords onto the page. And we've done this a lot of times. And often, this is enough to move you from page two to page one, or page three to page two, or even from page three to page one. We've seen that happen before. So, just a quick tip: uh, if you have any questions or comments, or if you have any other ideas of how to do this, let me know. If you've ever used this tool, uh, let me know how it worked out for you. Thanks.